All right, what's going on guys? Uh, this is Isaac, I haven't seen you guys in a really long time. I'm gonna go through some stuff really quick, give you a brief update, try not to bore you. Um, today I got the day off work. Uh, I now work as a server at a restaurant. Um, and I also, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I was working at O'Reilly Auto Parts over the summer. Um, I'm starting to finish up there, hardly working at all. Uh, I just finished up a winter J term class. Uh, I just took my last exam about five minutes ago. I went good and classes are going to be starting pretty soon on the 22nd here for the first for the actual semester. Um, the Integra has been in a storage unit. I'm going to go check on that today. I bought a 1995 five speed Geo Metro with 93,000 miles. Now it has 97 almost 98. Um, has no rust was from Arizona. It's a little beat on the outside, but runs good, drives good, and gets me 50 miles to the gallon. Gonna be putting some new parts on there today, um, cleaning it up a little bit. I'm gonna clean up the inside of the house, and yeah, gonna go check on the Integra. So feel free to follow me along today, see what's up, see what's new. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube, so uh, here we go. All right, so here's the Metro in all her glory. Um, had to put in a new headliner. Interior is not too bad. Uh, I put in a little tachometer. It doesn't come factory with one. I've also got a, uh, yeah, let's see here. Built a little shelf in the back to put some crap. Um, and I've got a sub out of the old van I used to have when I was in high school at my parents' house. So I just threw that down there. Um, today, let's see, focus here. I'm going to be putting in new wires, new EGR valve, and a new oxygen sensor upstream, uh, bank one. Uh, so here's what we look like under the hood. Got our three cylinder, one liter engine, badly mountain, mounted battery there. Um, and this is a 95, so it should have the newer headlights, but he put in different ones um, out of like a 94. So. There's that. I've got new ones actually coming from eBay. Uh, they've got side markers on the inside there, like amber LEDs. And then I've also got just regular LED H4-9003 uh, LED bulbs coming so I can see a little bit better at night. But uh, let's start changing out some stuff here. So I replaced the oil pan gasket a while back on this. And I haven't uh, checked the oil since then, so probably not a bad idea to take a look. And it looks like it's in the okay range there, so we're okay still. All right, so I actually did wind up putting a little bit of oil in there. Um, it was a little bit lower than I would have liked. All right, so replacing spark plug wires is pretty easy, so I'm not gonna show you. You just wanna take a little dielectric grease Put it on both sides if you'd like um, and then replace one wire at a time so you keep them together the cylinders and the spot on the distributor cap here um, so i'm just going to do like the top one first with cylinder one uh, the second one with wherever it goes etc so here we go all righty we got all three wires run there we got the dielectric grease on them and then we've also got a fourth wire going to the distributor cap here so that's good to go uh, let's fire it up see if it runs good All right, she seems to be running good. A little bit of a high idle because it's kind of cold out, but no misfire or anything like that. Actually might be idling a little bit better than I thought, so that's good. So I'm gonna take a quick lunch break, eat some uh, Mexican lasagna I cooked up two days ago, and then I'll come back out and finish everything up. So done with lunch. Next up on the list is the EGR valve. It is right there in the center of your screen, right there. And it's got two bolts, uh, let's see what size they are, 10 millimeter. I'm gonna pop those off quick. Uh, it's pretty easy, it's just one little gasket and then we'll put that new guy on there. Pulled it off, you can see it there. Um, but there's that green gasket on there that's really stuck on there and there was a bunch of carbon deposit in the hole I cleaned out the carbon in there as best as I could, but the gasket, I'm not really sure how to get off. I'm gonna do a little research online quick and see if I can figure something out. 
All right, so after way more work than it should have been, I got almost all the gasket off of there. It took me forever. Uh, but now we're gonna slap the new one on there, bolt her in, uh, and then reconnect the vacuum hoses, and we should be good. So here is the new one. I'm not sure what that inside is. I'm gonna assume it's some sort of diaphragm. And there is the old one. You can see it's all oily and gross and whatnot. There's a bunch of carbon buildup on the inside of there. So this guy's all clean. I'm gonna throw it on there. We'll be good. All right, so EGR is back on. Last thing is the oxygen sensor. If you come over to the left side of the motor, this green clip here, that guy has uh, the oxygen sensor. You don't want to unplug that. Looks like it might have been replaced before, or I don't know if that's just how the clip is. And then you can see it right there. That is the oxygen sensor. I think that oxygen sensor can be best accessed uh, underneath the car and if you look up there and then I also have to do the alternator belt so I'm gonna loosen that up down over there all right so I was able to get it loose and I just want to let you guys know how to do it so you're gonna take the closed end of the wrench you don't want to first unplug the oxygen sensor slip the closed end over it all the way up and over the oxygen sensor itself. Let me get that wire out of the way. So then you're over it, and then you can put it on that nut right there, and then you should be able to turn it loose. You're gonna be pulling towards the front of the car to break it loose. You should be able to unscrew it, and then just reverse the steps to put a new one back in there. All right, so new sensor is threaded in there. All we need to do is run the wires back over, plug them in up top, and we should be good. Oxygen sensors plugged back in, we're good. Last part we're gonna do today is this belt. So this squeals when I start it, especially if it's cold out. Um, so usually that just means that the belt is like rubbing or it's slipping. So the alternator's got this tensioner bolt. I'm gonna see if I can't loosen that up and then push it forward some more to try and tighten this belt up some. So let's give it a shot. We got the uh, new EGR in, got the alternator tightened up, new oxygen sensor in, and the new wires in. So, should be good to go there. Um, I'm gonna close everything up, tidy everything up around here, and then I'm gonna leave as soon as I can, and we're gonna go out to that storage unit and check on the TIG. So, I'm gonna clean it up here quick. All right, will it squeal? This is the moment of truth. If it squeals, I think it's the belt. Nice. Alrighty. Made her out to the shed here. Let's take a look. See if we've uh, still got an Integra. Alright, so fast forward. Somehow I'm already back home. Uh, Tig was still there. Looked good. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, now I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. I got quite a bit to do. There's a lot of crap over there. And other than that, I'm gonna jam out to some music and get some stuff done. So let's go. It is now the next morning. Everything last night cleaned up super superb. Uh, it took me until like 10.30 and I started at, I don't know, seven o'clock. I really deep cleaned uh, everything, including the blinds, so that went good. All done. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I'm going to edit, upload it right now, and yeah. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I can start uploading a little, little bit more here, especially as uh, spring starts getting closer, so.